warmly welcome to esteemed madam mrs sushma paul balia president apj education society co promoter and president apj satya and swan group co founder and chancellor apj satya university to the fourth rajeshwari kala mahotsav being celebrated by apj college of fine arts jalandhar dedicated to the gracious first lady of apj satya group madam mrs rajeshwari paul ji the inspiring wife of our esteemed founder chairman dr satyapal ji and the illustrious mother of esteemed madam president mrs sushma paul bird the mahotsav celebrates the rich and variegated art and culture of india in their true forms and colors and also serves to promote the budding and upcoming artists as also showcases the connoisseurs and the established maestros of the field this mahotsav is the gift of ap college of fine arts jalandhar at its peak as a much awaited and will mega event earlier the mahotsav was celebrated with a lot of gusto zeal and festivity in the vibrant premises of acfa jalandhar but this year though we have the same vibrance we have the same zeal the same enthusiasm but we have curated it online due to covid and this has added yet another beautiful dimension to the glorious journey of rajeshwari kala mahotsav moreover this this year our distinguished participants of the international art exhibition they have joined us online not only from different parts of the state of the country but also from across the borders giving it yet another elevated dimension of an international festival and i welcome all these all words of visual arts and the function the celebration is all the more special because we have with us legendary internationally acclaimed flute wizard pandit ronu mujumdar ji i welcome you sir to the rajeshwari kala mahotsav now it is time to go down a wonderful memory day to witness the spectacular journey of this beautiful mahotsav down the four years when it was inception so here go the glimpse of the previously held rajeshwari kala mahotsav
Kalbalia is a name that is synonymous with academic excellence, dynamic leadership, vibrant personality, iconic values. She has been a perennial source of inspiration and exemplary stewardship for the APJ Education Society, carrying forward the illustrious legacy of her revered parents, our worthy chairman, Dr. Satipalji, and Shirimati Rajeshwari Palji, with the seal and commitment of a crusader. Mrs. Berlia embodies in herself woman power in all its beautiful hues, having countless distinguished designations in the realm of technical, professional, entrepreneur, and higher education in India's leading councils, bodies, and institutions. Mrs. Berlia, with her far-sighted vision, emerges as a distinguished dignitary, recognized the world over with her tremendous passion for education as an intrinsic part of building a strong and vibrant India. The multiple roles she plays to perfection are simply awe inspiring and serve as a beacon light to illumine the paths of those associated with her. Under her competence, stewardship, and constant motivation, APJ Education Society has been touching the pinnacles of glory and carving its own myth in the world of education. Besides, being an acclaimed Shikshawit, she is a leading entrepreneur, the former president of the Chamber of Commerce and Industry. The list of Mrs. Berlia's accomplishments seems unlimited. I request esteemed Madam President to graciously inaugurate the motivated fourth Radeshwari Kalamahotsa by lighting the ceremonial jyoti. I also request the legendary flute wizard, Pandit Ronu Majumdarji, distinguished visual artists, Mr. V. Nagdas, Mr. Divan Mana, and Dr. Sucharita, to quietly join as the Madam President in invoking the auspicious blessing, Madam President, to do the honors. <laughs> Rajeshwari Kala Mohotsav, since its inception, has given us exuberant moments of rich learning, rejoicing creations and creativity, and celebrating art and the artists. Today is a day to celebrate another milestone in this direction, when we are organizing the Mohotsav live for a global audience. And the person behind this progress is none other than our pillar of strength, our principal, Dr. Sucharita, who always comes up with the most innovative ideas and out of the box thinking to make the things happen. It is because of her vision, guidance, and leadership that today we are a part of a gala event that brings in the artists, professionals, and guests excelling in the diverse fields of visual and performing arts from across the world and celebrating with so much of enthusiasm and joy. I would now request respected Madam Principal Dr. Sucharita to formally welcome our esteemed guests of the evening as about this prestigious event. Gracious greetings to the elite gathering of renowned artists, distinguished guests, stalwarts and illustrious personalities from across the globe who have joined us online for celebrating the inauguration of the fourth Rajeshri Kala Mahotsav taking off today. I extend a cordial welcome to you all. My privilege to accord a hearty welcome to Honorable Madam Mrs. Sushma Paul Belia, President, APG Education Society, Co-Promoter and President, APJ Satya and Swaran Group, Founder and Chancellor, APJ Sati University, who would inaugurate the grand event. 
Madam President is the very apostle of far-sightedness, commitment, and hard work. A leading entrepreneur, industrialist, and educationist, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia needs no introduction. In fact, whatever CFA Jalandhar has achieved by way of laurels and accomplishments, not only in the state, not only in the country, but even across the globe, it is esteemed Madam President's sterling guidance and vision, which has steered us to such phenomenal heights. For me and for SCFA, esteemed Madam President is a muse and the most positive pillar of strength and guidance. Her dynamism fills one with a sense of responsibility towards our students, our society, our motherland, and our glorious heritage. It keeps us growing higher and shining brightly, standing true to the ideas of the esteemed founder chairman, Dr. Satyapalji, most respected father of Madam President, who was a great visionary, philanthropist, freedom fighter, educationist, and a man of lofty principles. Revered Madam President was the first woman to lead a multi-state apex chamber of commerce in India serving as the president of the PhDCCI in 2005-06. A recipient of many prestigious awards, her achievements are plentiful and extraordinary. I once again welcome esteemed Madam President, the chief guest of this significant occasion. I also welcome Pandit Runu Majumdar, the legendary flute wizard, who is India's top-ranking flute artist. He is a no notable figure, not only in the nation, but also overseas with many international music releases to his credit. With his soothing melodies, Shri Majumdar mesmerizes the listeners and spreads bliss and calm, which is so hard to be found in these stressful times. It is our privilege to have him with us today, and he would be bestowed with the Rajeshri Samar. Mr. Divan Manna, internationally acclaimed artist and the photographer, would also be receiving Rajeshwi Samman today. President of Punjab Galitkala Academy Chandigarh, Mr. Divan Mana has been enthusiastically promoting the art fraternity and the upcoming artist. It is an honor to have him with us on this significant occasion. I'm extremely thankful to the panel of jury members, Professor V. Albert from Netherlands, Professor Orhan from Turkey, Professor V. Nagdas, Karagar, Mr. Devan Manna Chandigarh, Mr. Madanlal Chandigarh, and Mr. Tutu Patnaik Delhi. They have given their judicious and valuable judgment based on their vast experience and expertise on the works of the artists in different categories. My special welcome to these tall words. The mega event would also be marked by the release of the college magazine Kala Saurabh by Madam President. This year, a special edition of the College Magazine has been launched dedicated to COVID-19. Coming to Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsav, it is dedicated to the esteemed First Lady of APJ Satya Group, Mrs. Rajeshwi Paul, the honorable wife of our founder chairman, Dr. Satya Paulji, and the most respected mother of our president, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia. It is the expression of our gratitude and reverence for the Divine Lady in the form of art activities, which were so close to her noble heart. She, in fact, was the inspiration for Dr. Satyapalji for setting up of a haven of classical Indian arts in the form of Rajesh Vikala Sangam, where arts were not just practiced in hobby classes, but also religiously promoted and propagated like a form of worship to the altar of glorious Indian culture. The devotion towards art continues in the legacy of Dr. Satyapal and Shirmati Rajeshri Palji, their granddaughter and daughter of President Madam Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia, Dr. Neha Berlia, is herself a great Sarod artist who regularly dedicates her time to Sarod performances amidst her busy preoccupation in entrepreneurial and administrative ventures of great dimension. I wish to share with the audience that Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsav has been started with the objective to make everyone, especially the youth, acquainted with high quality art and art performances. We wish to bring those forms of art here in the campus, which had never been performed in Punjab before. 
It stands for the promotion of all forms of art, including theater, literature, architecture, and for taking them to a very high level, where the people would eagerly look forward to watch great performances during this Mahotsav. Previously, Dajeshwi Kala Mahotsav were held in the vibrant campus of this cafe, Jalandhar, and with a lot of gusto, zeal, and fervor. This year, we have decided to hold the festival online because of COVID-19. Our spirits for celebrating the Mahotsav have not been dampened by the scary virus, but it has left us motivated to find an apt outlet in an online celebration hall. And so we are all together, despite being miles and miles apart, for this noble venture in the remembrance of Honorable Shirmati Rajesh Paul. We have received such an overwhelming response from the participants and artists, not only from Punjab, or India, but from across the globe. And we are feeling reassured about the successful propagation of DPT's vision and mission as conceived by our esteemed founder, Chairman Dr. Satyapalji, way back in 1975. Artistic activities are flowing seamlessly in a stream of events reaching out to many professional and budding artists of India and abroad. And this Mahotsav has become a melting pot where art and culture activities are assimilating so amazing. Such a high profile art festival and international online art exhibition had never been happened in this city, could not have been possible without the ever guidance and motivation of esteemed Madam President. I feel modestly proud to announce that we have received overwhelming entries in four sections, that is international, invited, professional, and amateur artists in the variety of categories, which include painting, sculpture, printmaking, digital art, photography, and drawing. It would be no exaggeration to point out that ACFA has evolved as an oasis of art activities in the dry desert of the region, and the entire land is now being nurtured by the wholehearted endeavors of this fast blossoming institution. Let me share with the August gathering of the elite and the distinguished artists a glimpse of the previous Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsa, which were celebrated in the premises of Israel. They comprised a string of, string of beautifully orchestrated cultural design and theatrical performances of a very high order. In Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsa 2017, we had a lifetime experience with the acclaimed performance of PM and Kigarsam politician Mr. Babun Sukriyo, Member of Parliament from Asansol and Minister of State for Environment, Forest and Climate Change in the Union Council of Ministers. Students and faculty from Chetu Textile College, China, visited the college during the Mahotsav to get a first-hand experience of Indian ethos, especially that of rural Punjab, which was created in the premises of ACFA, whose stalls depicting the essence of Punjabi art and culture. Eminent Sarod Mastro, Aman Ali Khan, and Nayan Ali Khan, he gave the audience during the Kala event. Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsav 2018 was marked by Girl Gaze, an Indo UK photography exhibition with Punjab Kala Academy Chandigarh, a three day artist camp, Hastikavi Prastuti, and Padam Shiri by Padam Shiri Dr. Sunil Jogi, Minister of State in the Government of Uttar Pradesh, designers show Lavanya, tribal dances. Then, under the ages of North Zone Cultural Center and ballet dance performances by Jalam from Kerala. Rajeshwi Kala Mahotsav 2019 was marked by theatrical performance by National School of Drama, New Delhi, and North Zone Culture Center, Kerala, a three day artist camp, a sterling performance of feminine Punjabi singer Dolly Gudaria, followed by Lavanya designers' extravaganza. The showstopper for the event was none other than our own celebrated alumnus, Nitin Chauhan, Grand Ambassador of Three Months. The hallmark of the designer's evening was an enthralling performance by the Comedy Sensation of India, Kapil Sharma, our own alumnus. The Mahotsav culminated with the performance of world-renowned Kathak exponents, Vidhalal and Abhimanyakar. Let me take the occasion to post the gracious gathering with the accomplishments of ACFA over the last few years. In its spectacular journey of just over 45 years, the college has garnered phenomenal success and illustrious laurels 
in a variety of fields and has evolved as a premier multidimensional institution offering a wide range of courses from the traditional to the modern technology ones i take special pride in our extraordinary achievements that come right making this way by winning youth festivals at national level for 14 times in a row our students are also regular participants in sofes south asian universities youth festival acfs national and international collaborations give our students a cutting edge and prepare them for prestigious placements in india and abroad our alumni are shining brightly in different sectors like films television advertising banking it physiotherapy photography designing administrative services etc our college is at the forefront of observing and promoting the arts and crafts of our country in general and punjab in particular we are specially committed to reviving the dying arts and crafts such as pulkari making dari making wood cut printing mural painting and what's more we are also trying to revive certain fading musical instruments and folklore of holding the noble nation with which apj was created in commendation of apj's unique contribution in the field of quality education and career the college has received laudable recognition by apex higher education bodies of india and abroad the college has been accredited a plus grade by national assessment and accreditation council the university grants commission new delhi has recognized apj as a college with potential for excellence the college has also been granted kaushal kendra by ugc to run need based vocational courses at ug and pg level it's a matter of great honor and pride that apj is the first and the only college in the region to have been bestowed mentor college status by ugc to mentor five colleges of the state for the direct in addition to these prestigious accomplishments the college has also been awarded india's education excellence award 18 by berkshire media usa and s fine arts institute in punjab 19 by fifth higher education summit pune in the end i wish to appreciate the untiring efforts of dr arun mishra advisor cultural affairs acfa for his able direction i acknowledge the meticulous planning thoughtful conceptualization sleepless nights a perfect team management synchronized online interface and exchange and above all the sterling guidance at every step and the valuable and highly motivating suggestions by esteemed madam president herself which have all gone into the successful launching of this mega event not resting on past laurels we would continue our onward journey and spread the fragrance of the wonderful and variegated art forms across the globe as true art recognizes no boundaries or barriers i once again extend warm welcome to esteemed madam president mrs sushma kolbelia and distinguished guests to the unique online festival festive celebrations of rajeshwi kala mahotsav 2020 in the honor of revered mrs rajeshwi polji I conclude with the Hindi couplet. बेशक बुलंदियों में यकीन रखते हैं हम, बेशक बुलंदियों में यकीन रखते हैं हम, मगर पाँव के नीचे ज़मीन रखते हैं। हौसला रखते हैं मंज़िल को छूने का, और वहाँ ठहरने का भी कमाल करते हैं हम। Thank you all. now i request esteemed madam president <clears throat> this is sushma paul barlia to present her inaugural address pandit ronu mazumdar ji mr divan mana professor v albert vanderwilt professor orhan cabrero glu professor nagdas Mr. Madan Lal, Mr. Totu Patnaik, all our other eminent artists and guests. Perhaps the best way would really be for me to have said, in words of Swami Vivekananda, "Brothers and sisters." 
It is indeed my privilege to be addressing you here today on this very, very unique occasion. Although we are celebrating the fourth Rajeshwari Kala Mahautsav, but I'm calling it unique because this is the first time that we are hosting it virtually. In a way, we certainly miss the excitement of physical interaction on the campus and the vivacity and the vibrancy that we see there. But let me tell you right from the start, just a few minutes ago, I'm feeling this vibrancy, the spirit, the energy, even sitting here in New York. I was held up here when the lockdown started, first in the US, now in India. But this virtual medium has really helped not only to bring all of us closer, but to be able to celebrate internationally this fourth Rajeshwari Kala Mahautsa. I'm in the unique position of being the chairperson, but also the guest for the evening. And therefore, I'll speak to you in both capacities. Really, for me, this is a very emotional event that we celebrate because in a way, it is not only a celebration of the achievements and the heights that the college has achieved and also our outreach to all forms of arts and artists. It's, but it is also a celebration of a lady who also happened to be my mother, who in those times in India, we can just imagine, embodied a huge vibrancy and spirit and joy in life, which is in a way what art is about. She lived a life which was full of all the colors, if you will, that we can imagine. She was a horse rider. She used to go surf riding. She was MA in English in those days. She certainly sang. She played the harmonium, the sitar. She um, also danced Kathak, Bharatnatyam. And she saw to it that it was not something that she did it alone, but she tried to see how this could be made available to so many women around them. For those of us who may have either lived at that time or have heard of those times, we do know how difficult it was for women especially to be able to aspire to have just even access to leave aside the ability to perform in so many of these performing arts. And she was really the muse and the source of inspiration for Dr. Satya Paul, who is the founder of this great institution. But it was she who laid the sapling, if you will, of the Rajeshwari Kala Sangam, which later on grew up to the flourishing tree of APJ College of Fine Arts that we see today. So I want to not only appreciate, but thank each one of you personally from my heart for gathering here today for this celebration. But the important thing about this is not just the celebration of the lady whose inspiration that saw the setting up of this institution, but the vision and mission behind it having been so set up. And it was her inspiration, Dr. Satya Paul's vision and mission, which was to ensure the preservation of the rich cultural heritage that India had of different parts of fine arts. And it was in that context that they also wanted to make sure that it was accessible and could get connected to the youth of today. I think it was equally important 
to have ensured the not only the continuation of these fine arts, but for the understanding that we as individuals are only complete, no matter what we do in life. Dr. Satya Paul himself was a mathematician, and yet he was a musician as well. So the juxtaposition and the importance of the wholeness of any individual only comes through when they have also immersed themselves in the fine arts which embody the spirit of living in this life. Today, as we are gathered here at the fourth Maha Utsav, we have over 1200 artists from across the globe who have participated in the art exhibition. A flute performance, which we are looking forward so much to from the world famous Sri Ronu Mazumdarji. Thank you so much for being here with us today once again to help make this mega event a beautiful bouquet of the finest of fine arts. He will also be awarded with the Rajeshwari Samman today. The Rajeshwari Samman has been instituted by the APJ Education Society to be bestowed on two celebrated artists every year. One from visual arts and the other from performing arts in the memory of my mother, Srimati Rajeshwari Paul. We are initiating the award from today onwards. And apart from Pandit Ronu Mazumdarji, of course, the award would also be bestowed on Mr. Devan Manna, the internationally acclaimed ace photographer. Indeed, I must say that in honoring them, we also honor ourselves because they truly embody the beauty of the art at its very finest. Rajeshwari Kala Mahatsav also helps to bring together, therefore, as we have seen in the past and that we are seeing today, a whole plethora of seasoned performers, ace artists from diverse areas to perform and demonstrate their talent. It ensures, amongst others, that the youth stays connected with their rich cultural heritage. It would, if I have said that Rajeshwari Ji was the muse for Dr. Satya Paul, it also behoves us to remember him today as the person who founded and helped take forward this inspiration to the heights that we see today. As perhaps many of us are already aware that he was physically challenged. He had polio as a young child and the family was from very humble background. You can imagine how humble if I share with you that the family could not even afford electricity in those days. And most of his education was at the help of a lantern. Despite all of that, he rose above all of that and faced all the challenges of life with the smile and with the determination, the grit, the indomitable spirit that he showed, not only to continue to get his MA in mathematics, he was refused by a college where he was aspiring to teach because of his physical handicap. So he went back to this little business of making buckets. His father had expired by then. He was an eldest of family of seven children and their responsibility had fallen on his shoulders. Without going into the whole story, but we see today that he clearly was able to move ahead sufficiently, not only to establish one of the greatest industrial empires in India, but also to sow the seeds of this beautiful bouquet of educational institutions that we have today across the country. We have 26 schools, colleges, the APJ Satya University, and we have 50 decades of 
the flowering of the seed that he set before us five decades 50 years excuse me so the reason that i'm mentioning this specifically today that we have all faced the challenge of the recent pandemic in the last few months and one of the things which have come out clearly in this process is the importance of resilience and emotional balance in life. It has shown us there are a few learnings that we take away and which console very well with the vision that our chairman had. And that was the importance of people. The pandemic has shown us Factories could shut down, offices could shut down, schools and colleges could shut down, all physically. But things still moved. And it was the people who made it possible to move. If you look at the APJ College of Fine Arts, for instance, day and night, it was ACFA's indomitable spirit, which it displayed so amazingly, even amidst the lockdown period. It soared high on the wings of technology to reach out to each and every student through world-class Moodle and Zoom following the full-scale timetable and high-quality webinars inviting nationally, internationally acclaimed artists of the caliber, for example, of Sri Anup Chalotaji and so many others, eminent literati, distinguished dignitaries, highly placed alumni, whole number of people who not only spoke to our students and to a gathering at a larger level, but who also conducted a lot of workshops. So in actual fact, we were able to utilize this time in a way where we ended up creating an opportunity for students to have access to the kind of people, information, knowledge and exposure, which they may not normally have got. So the importance of people above everything else. Secondly, the importance of innovation, adaptation, and resilience. The ability to respond to all the challenges in life and be able to stay strong through the ups and downs. Everybody faces them. My parents certainly face them. Certainly, whether it each one of us here, I don't think anybody can say that they have not gone through the peaks and valleys of life. But through it all, if we can remain smiling, if we can continue to have the joy in life, this is what really finds its expression in the best of arts. If we look at a painting, if we hear beautiful music, if you look at the performing arts, what the spirit of that is the balance, the nature, the calmness, the connection with the divine. ACFA has been expanding its horizons to display its creativity in visual and performing arts, not only at the college level, but a lot of higher art bodies. It moved beyond the college portals and put up an exhibition of visual arts galeria, creative showers at Punjab Lalit Kala Academy Chandigarh in February 2020. It launched the designer show Lavania 2020 in the pulsating capital of New Delhi on 26 February 2020. And it has also planned to launch Galleria at India International Center New Delhi. Apart from all the international collaborations and exchange programs with prestigious universities and institutions of Netherlands, China, Singapore, and all other connections that the college has been building over time. Really, if we see today's Rajeshwari Kala Mahautsav, it is truly the probably the most befitting way 
we have of celebrating this Maha Utsav, which is dedicated not only to the graceful persona of Srimati Rajeshwari Paulji, who was the very embodiment of art and who enthusiastically stood for propagating all sorts of fine arts, but also of celebrating the very spirit of what art truly is in all dimensions. I can only thank each and every one of you for joining us today in this beautiful celebration and participation. My heartiest congratulations and compliments to Dr. Sucharita and her entire dedicated team of people both in the forefront and the background who have made this possible today. And most of all, my good wishes for continuing this journey in all dimensions. There's a beautiful Urdu couplet which has inspired our motto of the college, Soaring High. This was a favorite of Dr. Satya Paul. The couplet goes, Tu shahi hai, tu shahi hai parvaz hai kaam tera. You are a falcon, soaring high is your nature. Tu shahi hai parvaz hai kaam tera. Tere samne asma aur bhi hai. Tere samne asma aur bhi hai. You are a falcon. Soaring high is your nature. They are skies yet for you to conquer. They are skies yet for you to conquer. I wish you all higher and higher soaring and skies to conquer. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Ma'am, in you, we see the reflection of the noble values and virtues for which our founder chairman, Dr. Satyapalji, and Madam Mrs. Rajeshwari Palji stood. Thank you. Moving on, we have yet another significant part of the Mahotsav waiting to be unraveled by esteemed Madam President, Mrs. Sushma Paul Balia. This year, the college magazine is dedicated to mark COVID-19 and it comprises the articles pertaining to the pandemic seen through the perspective of the APGIs. And we have the title spanning the panorama of the changing world before and beyond COVID-19. It's a wonderful blend of expressions, articles, illustrations. I now request esteemed Madam President, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia to release the special edition of the college vaccine. I commend this special endeavor of ACFA in compiling their experiences related to COVID-19 in a very creative manner in the form of the special edition of Kala Saurabh. I congratulate the faculty and students of ACFA for this great accomplishment. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Moving on. I would once again request esteemed Madam President, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia, to release the e-catalog of the International Art Exhibition containing a documentation of the entire gamut of the exhibits of the exhibition. Madam President, to kindly do the honors. Well, it's my privilege and pleasure to release the e-catalog of the International Art Exhibition on this momentous occasion. And I would especially again like to convey my gratitude and congratulations to all the artists for their valuable contribution to the exhibition. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Thank you, ma'am. Let us now transport ourselves to a veritable panorama of the International Art Exhibition, which witnessed a phenomenal response with over 1,200 entries from the artists from across the globe and also from different states of India. Out of these entries, around 200 works have been meticulously selected by the eminent jury comprising the past masters of the field from India and abroad. A splash of colors, an awe-inspiring extravaganza by the connoisseurs as well as amateur artists would now present a captivating string of brilliant gems of visual art unfurling before you the vivaciously vibrant master strokes of the ace visual artist. Allow yourself to enjoy a virtual tour of multi-hued creativity unleashed.
was indeed a great visual treat, a fantastic way to enjoy art with technology. Just marvelous. Moving on, I take the privilege to invite Professor V. Nagdas, Dean Faculty of Visual Arts and Head Department of Graphics, Indra Kala Sangeet Vishwavidhyale Kheragar. Professor Nagdas is a phenomenal artist, <coughs> mastery in printmaking and painting, and has received permanent recognition as a well-known senior artist in the South Asian art circle. Professor Nagdas has exhibited his work extensively in both national and international mm -hmm. art shows, participated in numerous workshops, and has been felicitated with prestigious awards and honors for his substantial contribution to art over the years. Professor Nagdas is also part of the esteemed jury of the International <laughs> Online <laughs> Art Exhibition <laughs> and has been <laughs> a wonderful support. I would now request <laughs> Professor Nagdas <laughs> his experience on being part of this significant event. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, sir. You are quite yes, we can. Yes, we can. Okay. So thank you for uh, inviting me for this uh, inaugural functions. This is very important and mega event. Rajeshri Kalama also. I think this is my first experience going through this uh, online process. So I am not very much uh, expert in this computer also. Anyway. So myself and uh, some of the jury members, we have got a chance to go through all the works. It was fantastic works and there are a lot of uh, outstanding work also. So we have got some limitation because we have to go through the images only. There is no any physical uh, presence, you know. So that is what we have had some problems, but still we have got uh, gone through all kind of uh, technical process and aesthetic process. And all we have discussed uh, taking important uh, decision. So to choose only perfect work, which is completely perfection in uh, technical also, and aesthetically also we have gone through and we have decided to select two awards and uh, some honorable and all. It was nice experience with me, with uh, Divan Manna and uh, uh, other two members of uh, Tutu Patnaik and uh, uh, other friend from Chandigarh. We had a lot of discussion about the work and uh, which is not any imitation. So we have, they have taken some photographs and all. So we have rejected that also. So that way Rajeshri Kala Mahalsav is going to be one of the best in India. So I think uh, for all artists, especially for the young artists, they are getting an international platform through this. So I very much appreciate this kind of activity. This is very prestigious one and uh, anyway, in, in future also we can cooperate with the make it mega function so in the art field you can see there are a lot of things happening every day but the institutions they are taking keen interest to promote artists that is a great thing for us because most of the art galleries are dominated by the art field so better the institution also has to take important to promote art and artists so it is my great privilege to be with you in the inaugural functions. I'm very much happy to be with you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir. So So we'll definitely make it one of the best Mahotsavs in all times to come. And let me post the August gathering with the credentials of Mr. Divan Mana, pioneer art photographer and president Punjab Lalit Kala Academy, Chandigarh. He is amongst us today and he's also a jury panel member. Mr. Divan Mana is known for his soulful images and is one of the first exponents of conceptual photography in the country. His artistic technique and expression is unique and he has a style of his own. He has been felicitated with prestigious awards and honors and he has made substantial contribution to television and theater as well. Also in addition to his noteworthy contribution to North Zone Cultural Center Patiala. And 
I welcome him once again and request him to share his views. Good evening, friends. This is Sushma Paul Berlia, Dr. Sucharita, other jury member friends like uh, Dr. V. Nagadas, Madan Lalji, uh, Tutu Patnaik, who is not amongst us here in this uh, presentation today, uh, Mr. Brendan, everybody else, young students of the APJ College of Fine Arts, faculty and staff. I'm really privileged and honored to be addressing this gathering online today on this special occasion of uh, Rajeshwari Kala Mahatsav, of which I had an opportunity a uh, few years earlier uh, attending once before, and I had seen the grandeur and the uh, um, oomph associated with the festival, the way uh, this institution takes this festival uh, seriously. It had really uh, impressed me and I'm so happy to join this time again. Uh, being part of the jury, as we all know, uh, Professor Brendan from Netherlands and one friend from Turkey, who could unfortunately, unfortunately not join us in the jury because of technical reasons. And uh, Mr. Tutu Patnaik, Mr. Madanlal, Mr. V. v Nagadas, we all went through a whole gamut of expressions in the visual arts. We had difficulty in fact in selecting and then awarding and giving uh, commendation certificates or honorable uh, mentions as you say, uh, because the, the range of artworks was really, really great. But nevertheless, as uh, Mr. V. Nagadas uh, mentioned, it was not as if you're watching the works in the real sense. You're watching it on the screen, but still we try to justify uh, in whichever best way we could so that nobody uh, gets one's work rejected or no one gets undue, unduly selected or given award to because of the lack of uh, this you know, physical presence of each other and the works in front of us. And we, we are very happy. And in fact, we, when you look at a work of art uh, in, in the process of jury, it looks different, when, but when it is presented in an exhibition, the way it was done beautifully this evening by those people who have done it, I really congratulate them uh, from the bottom of my heart that a virtual gallery can look also so great and so presentable. These works acquire different meaning. They look so presentable, they look so interesting. And they, as we all know, works of art, in fact, you know, acquire a different meaning when they are presented well. So this is what they did today. I really uh, kind of appreciate them. Coming back to the Mahotsav, as uh, Mrs. Berlia mentioned, we are going through really, really unique times. In fact, all of us would remember him, those who have children, their children would remember that these times were one of a kind, which, which really impacted the entire human race across the globe. And we are so sorry for the millions of people who are suffering, who have suffered, who probably are unfortunately going to suffer more in the coming few months. As we see, the pandemic is not really coming to an end. It is probably peaking somewhere if it is coming down some in some of the pockets. But as Mrs. Berlia mentioned, I would, I'm referring to her again because I, I thought that I'll be talking about these things, but she has spoken about these things in much detail. So I would not go to in those details. But during these times when the entire humanity is going through a crisis which is unseen of a kind by the previous few generations, we artists are in such a responsible position that we need to do more because human beings, politicians, bureaucrats, managers, businessmen, when everything else doesn't see a ray of light, then it is the artistic community's responsibility to show that ray of light, to show that re resilience, the hope, and, and expectation from the future, which, which we are supposed to provide to the coming generations and a number of young artists who look up to us, being managers of art, being people in responsible positions, it is 
our responsibility that we do not let the spirit die. We keep them bubbling, happy by connecting through these kind of activities as this festival is doing, although it is not in a physical sense, which is really unfortunate, but at the same time, coming out with this kind of an idea of doing online also helps us connect with each other because there's nothing which can replace the human warmth, the connectivity, heart to heart connectivity. Some people go under depression. Some people suffer because of various other reasons. Some people feel lonely. So these kind of connections through art, be it visual performance, dance, music, drama, literature, they are all so very important. And the significance of these uh, festivities, these events is even more during these days. I was, I was listening to Ms. Berlia about the difficult times her father, Mr. Satyapal, had to go through because of polio stricken status of his. So that also in, in a way is inspiring for a lot of us that if a person during those times, in spite of being polio stricken, in spite of going through poverty, could achieve so much as he did and, and created this kind of an institution in front of us, which is helping a lot of people, youngsters, teachers, professionals, artists, dancers, musicians, whole lot of, uh, whole gamut of people. So we, we really need to be inspired. And when we, when we see a businessman, a mathematician, a musician, it's a lethal combination. I wish there were many businessmen around this area who were also mathematicians and musicians, because I know a few mathematicians who are also very good musicians. In fact, there is a very deep connect between physics, mathematics, algebra, geometry, dance, music, and the visual arts. If you, if you, if you, if you go through Bhava Institute of uh, Technology or whatever it's called, and there you'll see there is a huge gallery, there's a huge collection, and they have given a great importance to the visual arts and to the performing arts and to music and dance, et cetera. So in the same lines, look at it, 45 years, time passes like anything. This is such an old institution in Punjab where we, we do not really, we, we are known by agriculture, unfortunately, it's not true. Agriculture also we have done well, but we have also done very well in the field of music, dance, drama, and, and literature. Many of our legends belong to this very land of five rivers of saints and gurus and whatnot. So I, I have been appreciating for a reason because we do need these kind of institutions, especially like the one because north of Chandigarh, apart from the College of Art, Government College of Art Chandigarh, this is the only institution, APJ College of Fine Arts, which started 45 years ago, when probably in many colleges, there was not even, uh, you say, a, a, a kind of a, uh, a discipline called Fine Arts. There was no department of Fine Arts. And here, Mrs. Rajeshwari Paul and Mr. Satya Paul thought of creating this institution when they could have probably used, utilized their money for something else. People think of IITs, people think of you know, engineering institutions, people think of hospitals, which is also well, they are also needed. But somebody who sort of art when none other does it. So it's really commendable that time that they started this institution and continuously contributing in the promotion preservation and dissemination of art in this very region, especially north of Chandigarh. I really appreciate, commend, and thank the Berla, uh, Berlia family, Satyapal family, Dr. Sucharita, staff of the uh, APJ College of Fine Arts, and all the other institutions also associated with this organization. As I heard that they have 20 or some other you know, institutions which are, which are functional, and they're very much there. In the end, I would like to thank uh, especially Anil Gupta, he's a friend. He was my classmate in College of Art. But here in the, in the capacity of being of the head of the Department of Visual Arts in APJ College of Fine Arts, along with him, Mr. Vikram, Vikram Bhandari, Mr. Uh, Sagu, I, I think his full name, I'm, I'm forgetting. I've written it somewhere, but I, I know him only. Varinder Sagu and uh, Manisha Ankit, and many others who have 
really worked very hard apart from the other uh, faculties which i would not delve into because uh, there is fashion technology there is music department there is there are other departments who must have definitely contributed in making this festival a success but uh, my domain is visual arts so i would certainly uh, uh, thank them and i thank them again for inviting me for this and uh, although i i i feel i do not really deserve that kind of an honor which uh, I which is going to bestow upon us me today along with Mr. Uh, Majumdar. But nevertheless, I feel humbled, I feel privileged, and I feel honored that I'm being given this honor. I hope I live up to it and I continue contributing in my own humble way in trying to help young artists achieve their goals to not to be disappointed, to not to be dismayed during these times and also Keep association of the Punjab Lalit Kala Academy with the APJ College of Fine Arts. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. Thank you sir, for these kind words. It's always a pleasure to hear from you. And we really hope that you would keep encouraging and motivating us in our future art endeavors also. Moving ahead, it is the time now to felicitate the celebrated artist with the prestigious Rajeshwari Samman, dedicated to the esteemed first lady of APJ Sarkar Group, Mrs. Rajeshwari Paul, the honorable wife of our founder chairman, Dr. Sakta Paulji, and the most respected mother of our esteemed president, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia. The award recognizes the exceptional contribution of individuals in promoting the various disciplines of Indian art and culture. It is my privilege to announce that this year, Rajeshwari Samman will be awarded to two exceptionally talented artists from visual and performing arts. The first recipient of Rajeshwari Samman is Mr. Divan Manna, President Punjab Lalit Kala Academy, Chandigarh. Mr. Divan Manna is renowned yeah, he needs a big round of applause. <laughs> Mr. Divan Manna is a renowned Indian conceptual artist and a pioneer among art photographers in India, who is recognized for his exceptional contribution to the art fraternity, not only in India, but also abroad. I request esteemed Madam Sushma Paul Berlia to bestow the honor upon Mr. Divan Manna. The Rajeshwari Samman is being bestowed on Sri Divan Manna, the ace Indian conceptual artist and photographer, on the fourth Rajeshwari Kala Mahautsav dedicated to Srimati Rajeshwari Paul Ji, the first lady of the APJ Satya Group and the Honorable Consort of Founder Chairman Dr. Satya Paul Ji. The award has been specially institutionalized to acknowledge the outstanding efforts of illustrious Indian artists dedicated to promote the diverse fields of Indian art and culture. Mr. Devan Mana is one of the pioneer artists from India practicing conceptual photography and is noted for his work revolving around socio-cultural and socio-political concerns. APJ recognizes and appreciates the exceptional commitment of Mr. Devan Mana in promoting visual arts through photography, not only in India, but also abroad. We congratulate him for his commendable contribution and laudable endeavors to the art scene of India and the world. Thank you so much, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you so much, ma'am, and congratulations to you, sir. You truly deserve this prestigious award. The International Online Art Exhibition received an overwhelming response with an exclusive participation of around 1,200 entries from across the world in the categories of drawing, painting, sculpture, printmaking, photography, and digital art. Apart from this, we received 37 works in the special category 
of invitee artists. Renowned national and international artists were warmly invited to be a part of the exhibition to add quality and vigor to the event. Our esteemed jury comprised of eminent artists from India and abroad. Professor V. Nagdas from Keragar, Mr. Divan Manna and Mr. Madan Lal from Chandigarh, Mr. Tutu Patnayak from New Delhi, and Mr. Albert Wenderwade from Netherlands. The jury used all their expertise and dedication to analyze the work in terms of its uniqueness, creativity, skill, technique, and its inherent meaning. The judgment was made in three categories, international, professional, and amateur. Before announcing the results, I would request respected Madam President, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia to congratulate and bless the winners and participants of the art exhibition. I think very briefly, I would just like to say it's an incredible exhibition that we saw, as Mr. Mana so well put it. My heartiest congratulations to all those who contributed it, but more particularly, and as he said, it was a very difficult uh, discussion, decisions to make, but my heartiest congratulations to all the winners, as well as wishing you all success in all your endeavors. Thank you so much, ma'am. Your blessings are priceless. I begin with the winners of the international category. Miss Arjunita Fatahu from Europe gets an award in the category of painting for the world title here. Ms. Penia Kotsopoulou from Greece gets an award in print for a work title and later. Dr. Nidala Lucy Rain from Mauritius gets an award in the category for a work title, Huge Dread. Congratulations to the winner. And now moving on to the professional category. Winners of the International Art Exhibition in professional category in sculpture are Mr. Nema Ram from Rajasthan gets an award for his work title Relationship. Mr. Kesari Nandan from Jaipur receives an award for his work title Hidden Mr. Kunal Naskar from West Bengal receives an award for Hidden Experience. Mr. Vipul Kumar from Jaipur receives honorable mention for his work title Privacy Privacy. Mr. Saroj Kumar from Gujarat received honorable mention for his work title, An Old Bish Died, A Deaf Rich Man Said, No So Bad, No So Bad. Now coming to the winners of the International Art Exhibition in Professional Category in Photography. Mr. Saurav Das from West Bengal gets an award for his work title, Ms. Ankita Mahajan from Amritsar, receives an award for the work title, Shivered Soul with a Shri. Mr. Kishore from New Delhi receives honorable mention for his work titled, Freedom. Mr. Gurdeep Bhiman from Chandigarh receives honorable mention for Fight for Win the Race. Now coming to the winners of the professional category in painting. Mr. Kishore Ray from New Delhi gets an award for his work titled Something Else 11. Mr. Naresh Bali from Hyderabad receives an award for his work titled Technology Plus Minus. Ms. Vijay from New Delhi receives award for work Lockdown 2020. Mr. Suji receives honorable mention for his work Untitled. Mr. Anirban Misra from receives honorable mention for his work titled From the Distance. Now, coming to the winners of the professional category in printmaking. Mr. Amlesh Das from Kolkata receives an award for his work titled Thinker. Ms. Nisha Chadda from Ambala receives the award for her work titled I Want Freedom for the Full Expression of My Personality. Dr. Rabbi Narayan Gupta from Kerala receives honorable mention for his work, Temptation of the Devil. Mr. Tribhuvan Kumar from Kerala 
honorable mention for his work, Reinterpretation. Now coming to the winners of the category in drawing. Ms. Nea Patel receives award for a work titled Lost. Dr. Sonam Sikarwar from Bhopal receives an award for a work titled Soul of Life. Ms. Saloni Garg from Haryana receives honorable mention for a work titled Sahir. Ms. Diksha Gupta from Lakhnav receives honorable mention for her work titled Joys of Line. Now coming to the winners of the professional category in digital art, we have Mr. Lavleen Verma from Hoshiarpur who receives an award for his work titled Power of Imagination. And the winners of the professional category. And now we move to the amateur category in sculpture. Ms. Aditi Tangri from New Delhi receives award for her work titled Mr. Utit Gohotri from Jaipur receives the award for his work titled Pehel 2. Now coming to the next of the International Art Exhibition in Photography Amateur Category, Mr. Manpreet Singh from Ludhiana receives the award for his work titled Fear of Coronavirus. Mr. Kunt Arora from Jalandhar receives honorable mention for his work titled Cage. Now coming to the winners of the amateur category in painting are Mr. Parvesh Chandra Verma receives award for his work titled Story F. Ms. Vandana Sarish from Delhi receives award for his work titled Old Scooter. Mr. Abhijit from West Bengal receives honorable mention for his work titled No One is Permanent. Ms. Yuki Honorable mention for a work titled Wave. And finally, we come to the winner of the category in amateur category in printmaking. Miss Swati Sivit from Haryana receives honorable mention for a work titled Jhankar. Congratulations to all the winners, and we wish you good luck for all your future endeavors. I would now request Dr. Sumi to kindly proceed further. Congratulations to all the winners. We have amidst us the legendary internationally acclaimed flute artist, Ronu Majumdarji. He is a force to reckon with in the realm of Indian classical music, both as a thinking musician and a scintillating performer. Pandit Ronu Majumdarji began playing the flute under the guidance of his father, Dr. Bhanu Majumdar, then late Pandit Lakshman Prasad, and finally the revered Pandit Vijay Raghav Rao. He was also fortunate to receive his training from the grand guru, Pandit Ravi Shankarji. A powerhouse performer, Pandit Ronu Majumdar has composed music for India's first IMAX film, Mystic India. By virtue of his phenomenal talent, he and his Bansuri are literally synonymous. If the flute is likened to a temple, then Pandit Ronu Majumdarji would be its foremost worshipper. He has conducted a concert with 5,378 flutists on one stage under the banner of Art of Living. This event has been recorded in Guinea's Book of World Records. He has created an enviable niche for himself in the field of contemporary popular music, which is exemplified by his nomination for the Grammy Awards in 1996. And a film's division of India, it has produced a documentary film on Pandit Rono Majumdarji called Bansuri Wala. A recipient of many coveted awards and honors, his awards include All India Radio Award, Aditya Vikram Billa Award, Lifetime Achievement Award by Sahara India, National Kumar Gandharva Award, Sangeet Nath Academy Award, Lifetime Achievement Award by Navbhartan Times. And it is a matter of great honor and great privilege for us that we have him amidst us today. And he's going to have an interface with us. But I know he would definitely concede to our humble request of casting his spell with his Bansuri. He's going to give us the time for pure bliss, pure joy, pure magic with his flute. 
So kindly allow us, sir, to be mesmerized with your flute. It would be a blessed moment for APJ. I welcome you once again and request you to kindly cast your spell on us. Thank you. Namaskar everyone. First of all, I want to thank Pandit Arun Mishraji, who is like my elder brother, and uh, Amita Bhavi for inviting me. And of course, principal ma'am, everyone, the whole team to be together ऑनलाइन कला के क्षेत्र में राजेश्वरी कला संगम जिसके फाउंडर लेट श्री सत्यपाल जी थे उनका एक विजन था दूरदर्शिता थी और कला के प्रति एक अद्भुत प्रेम था उनके मन में जिस वजह से आज पूरी दुनिया में एपीजे कॉलेज इतना मशहूर हुआ मैं यहां पे खास तौर पे यह बताना चाहता हूं कि अरुण जी अरुण मिश्रा जी से मेरा संपर्क 30-35 साल का है जब जालंधर जाता था हर बल्लभ में बजाने के लिए तब से और वो बहुत गुणी हैं और सभी नए कलाकारों को भी बहुत अवसर देते हैं और दूसरी बात यह है कि बाबूजी जिनको कि राष्ट्रपति अवार्ड जो अरुण मिश्रा जी के पिताजी थे उनको मैं यहां से खास ऑनलाइन प्रणाम करना चाहता हूं अगर ये कोरोना पीरियड और ये पेंडेमिक सिचुएशंस नहीं होते तो मैं रूबरू सबसे मिल सकता था और पूरा वादन कर सकता था तो मेरे पास आज भी नहीं है मगर Thanks to the technology that we all are together, solely soul connections. Babu Ji ko pranam. Isi liye khas karke ek to wo bahut sangeet ki seva kiye aur unhone bhi APJ College ke vikas me bahut 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 yogdan contributions unka to hai hi. प्रेसिडेंट मैडम सुषमा पॉल जी को बहुत बहुत बधाई देता हूं कि उन्होंने एपीजे कॉलेज को इतनी ऊंचाई बुलंदियों तक पहुंचाया और इस इंस्टीट्यूट को एक एक आर्टिस्ट कुटों के लिए भी एक बहुत ही एक अच्छा स्टेज बनाया जहां पे कि प्रोग्राम्स भी होते हैं प्योर भारतीय संगीत के भारतीय कलाओं के भारतीय लोक संगीत के इसकी सफलता देखकर मुझे बहुत बहुत खुशी हो रही है और सबसे बड़ी बात है कि मैं ऑनलाइन ही बैठा हुआ था और सबको सुन रहा था दीवान जी को मैंने सुना सुषमा जी को सुना नागदास जी को सुना सभी ने इतनी सुंदर बातें एपीजे कॉलेज के लिए कही और हम सब साथ में हैं और दूसरी एक अच्छी बात आप लोगों ने कही जो मुझे बहुत आई वाज टच्ड कि आर्टिस्ट शुड नॉट वरी बिकॉज़ आर्टिस्ट्स आर द वर्स अफेक्टेड विद दिस कोरोना सिचुएशंस प्रोग्राम्स आर नॉट हैपनिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ द सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग प्रॉब्लम सो ऑब्वियसली देयर आर मेनी प्रॉब्लम्स दे आर गोइंग थ्रू फाइनेंशियल प्रॉब्लम्स एंड सर्वाइवल मेनी मेनी थिंग्स some people are teaching online some people are doing something so and also it is a time to create something i'm uh, honestly sharing with you that uh, i have created the basics of uh, some few ragas i never composed or created any rag as such officially uh, till now but there are some combinations going on in my mind but uh, they are getting a nice shape because of uh, we always keep complaining ki iske liye samay nahi milta uske liye samay nahi milta so this is a good time to utilize and uh, fulfill our passions 
and uh, our dreams, our creations. And uh, many people say that, Pandit Ji, you are very pure, Mayhar, you do a lot of work. So, we will always teach them. So, I have taught them. The work of the work of the work of the work of the work is called my speciality. The work of the work is called my work. लोग समझ नहीं पाते कि बीन क्या है बीन मतलब जो बीन सपेरा बजाता है वो बीन नहीं वीना रुद्र वीना को बीन कहा जाता था जैसे जिससे अलाउद्दीन खान साहब सीखे थे वो बीनकार थे और ये बीनकार सब द्रुपद ही थे द्रुपद के ही गायक वादक थे सो so नेचुरली उस ढंग का आलाप करने का मैंने प्रयास किया तो वो अब मैं सिखा रहा हूं मेरे शिष्यों को जो मैं कभी ठीक से because uh, I will not take all these things with me. And uh, so I have to pass it on. And as you all know, Shankh Bansuri is my creation. And uh, big flute, uh, a bass was always there, but I tried to uh, make it an integral part of the concert. Because the mantra is in the mantra, in the mantra, in the mantra, or Guruji Bharat Ratna Pandit Ravi Shankar Ji, in the whole life. So I have to bring that mantra in the mantra, so, so I'm giving all this uh, in this uh, pandemic situation and congratulations to the whole team once again. And uh, so I will try to play a little bit uh, just as a, uh, not as a concert or as a, some piece or something, but uh, just as a sharing of happiness because music is the best language to speak and there is a jase aap hum phool ki khushboo dekh nahi sakte isi tarah se swar ko bhi hum dekh nahi sakte swar ye swar pradhan sangeet hai to swar brahm hai jisko sirf mehsoos kiya jata hai ye shunya mein swar ghoom raha hai jab bhi besura hota hai to lagta hai ki kaan kehte hain ki besura hai usko hum define nahi kar sakte likh ke ki kahan pe besura hai isliye ye super fine art hai पेंटिंग की तरह पेंटिंग से भी मुझे बहुत ज्यादा रेस्पेक्ट है मेरे पिताजी तो फुल टाइम म्यूजिशियन नहीं थे वो पैट्रोनाइजर थे ही केम फ्रॉम अ वेरी रॉयल फैमिली बिफोर द पार्टीशन सो ही वाज अ ग्रेट पेंटर ऑफ इस टाइम एंड बनारस में जो तुमरी सम्राट थे पंडित महादेव प्रसाद मिश्रा उनकी पेंटिंग सबसे पहले पिताजी ने बनाई थी वेल well, बातें बहुत होंगी आज का एपीजे कॉलेज ऑफ फाइन आर्ट इज अग डे Celebrating a big, big, big day, and uh, through technology, we are connected. Atma ki door sabse tej hoti hai, jaise Yudhishthir ne kaha tha. Sabse tej chalne wala man hota hai. To aise sochiye ki main man se chal ke aapke paas pahunch gaya hu. Yomni ji, namaskar. Ek to ham log late ho gaye, aur bina aapko sune hai, to aapko jaane nahi dena. आप दो मिनट कुछ मैं बजा रहा हूँ। दो मिनट आपको इतना सुनने के लिए इतने लोग बैठे हुए हैं आपको जरूर बजा दूँ। ना ना जितना भी हो सके मैंने बात पे इमोशनल हो गया था तो बहुत अच्छा लगा। खमाज में बनारस का थोड़ा खुशबू देखिए आदर गुरुजी बोलते थे दो नी लगाने का अंदाज देखिए दातना
एक छोटा सा बनारस से थोड़ा मैहर में जा रहा हूँ मैहर कराना है रविशंकर जी का एक बड़े गुरु जी का एक छोटा सा एक गतकारी अंक का करके बस दो मिनट और उसका अंदाज देखिए भजन से खत्म करें एक और एक हाँ, एक ऑनलाइन है मैं फिर से सुना दूंगा एक ऑनलाइन था मैं ऑलरेडी थोड़ा लेट हो गया हूँ आज इतना आनंद आया आप मानेंगे नहीं मैं बिलीव मी और नॉट आई आई वॉज थिंकिंग इफ आई हेड समी रोनू जी एक लाइन ही चाहे भजन के स्थाई सुना दे उससे उसके बिना खत्म नहीं होता आज मेरा एक ऑनलाइन ऑलरेडी वेट कर रहा है मैं थोड़ा लेट हो गया हूँ आज ये ये बनारस का और गुरु जी के इसके साथ में खत्म कर रहा हूँ और आप सबको बहुत 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 बधाई और ये कोरोना जल्दी से दूर हो तो मैं जलंधर आऊ और सच पंजाबी खाना खाऊ क्योंकि उस समय पूरा सुनेंगे हाँ और एपीजे कॉलेज से मैं ऑनलाइन ऑन रिकॉर्ड कह रहा हूं कि मुझे इनवाइट करिए और मैं आपको दो तीन घंटे सुनाऊ जरूर से जरूर बहुत बहुत थैंक यू सो मच आप कुछ सम्मान तो कर लें जी फिनोमिनल सर इट वाज इट्स ट्रूली सेड दैट यू एंड द बांसुरी आर लिटरली सिनोनिमस Thank you so much for making us witness this soulful performance and leaving us mesmerized for rest of the evening. It is the time now to felicitate the second recipient of the prestigious Rajesh Pri Samman dedicated to the esteemed first lady of APJ Satya Group Mrs Rajesh Pri Paul the honorable wife of our founder chairman Dr Satya Paul ji and the most respected mother of our esteemed president Mrs Sushma Paul Berlia. The award recognizes the exceptional contribution of individuals in promoting the various disciplines of Indian art and culture. The second recipient of Rajeshwari Samman is the legendary artist Pandit Ronu Mujumdar, one of the most respected name in the Indian flute playing of the era, who is also credited for popularizing Indian flute in the younger generation all over the globe. I request Madam Sushma Paul Berlia to confer the honor on India's ace flutist Pandit Ronu Mujumdar. Rajeshwari Samman is being bestowed on the legendary flute artist Pandit Ronu Mujumdar on the fourth Rajeshwari Kala Mahotsav dedicated to the memory of Sri Mati Rajeshwari Paul ji, the first lady of the APJ Satya Group. and the honorable consort of founder chairman dr satya paul ji 
The award has been institutionalized to acknowledge the outstanding efforts of renowned artists of the country towards the promotion of Indian art and culture. APJ recognizes and appreciates the phenomenal and exceptional endeavors of Pandit Ronu Mozamdarji in promoting classical Indian music, not only across the country, but also overseas with the mellifluous notes of the flute. Pandit Ronu Mozamdar has been committed to the field right from his childhood, receiving training in music vocal and the rare art of flute playing under the tutelage of the noted masatras of the field, like Bharat Ratna Pandit Ravi Shankarji. We honor him for this highly commendable contribution, and we honor ourselves in honoring him. Uh, I, I can only add and say, Pandit Muzamdarji, you have the capacity of reacquainting ourselves with the divine, with the Brahm, Brahma, which is within all of us. Thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you for all the honor. And, uh... Thank you so much, ma'am, and many congratulations to you, sir. Coming on next is an enthralling musical performance based on APJ's motto, Soaring High is My Nature. This presentation brings in the message that life is a blessing full of colors of joy, sorrow, happiness, struggle, and achievement. So let's enjoy this beautiful performance brought to you by the exceptionally talented students and staff of APJ College of Fine Arts, Jalandhar. Dr. Sunit Kaur for the deliverance of a formal vote of thanks. My privilege to extend my formal vote of thanks to esteemed Madam President, Mrs. Sushma Paul Berlia. I am really thankful to you, ma'am, for providing us with such a rare platform as Rajeshwari Kala Mahotsav. We are also thankful and beholden to the elite artists, jury members and distinguished guests who have been a sparkling part of the wonderful conclave of arts, Rajeshwari Kala Mahotsav, dedicated to the gracious and divine Shirimati Rajeshwari Paulji. We are also grateful to the great legendary flute artist, 
Pandit Ronu Majumdar ji, whose soothing melodies are still ringing in the hearts and giving us the bliss and blessed calm hard to be found these days. We pay our obeisance to Shirimati Rajeshwari Paul ji, whom this, to whom this Mahotsav has been dedicated. With the eternal blessings of the founder chairman, Dr. Satipal ji and Mrs. Rajeshwari Paul ji, the entire extended ABJ family will continue to march ahead of times while retaining the quintessential glory of our rich art and culture. Paying a tribute to Dr. Satipal ji, we part saying, Main akela hi chala tha, jani be manzil magar, log saath aate gaye aur kar maa banta gaya. With these words, I thank you once again and have a great time. Thank you so much. Thank you.